thousand club. Oh yes, this is the day that the Lord has made. I shall rejoice and be glad. Listen, the headquarters of the seven thousand club. It needed some repairs. Matter of fact, the the uh, the people are working on the house as we speak. And I got the, uh, well, the owner of the company that's doing the work, uh, Brother Dewan. And he's gonna give you uh, the cost of this project. I didn't want to bother the Saints. I didn't want to bother 7,000 Club, but I had an epiphany uh, that uh, this house is our headquarters. And if it was a physical building, just think in terms the pastor is saying to the congregation, we got to get this roof fixed. That's right. We got to get this and that and the other fixed. And they would raise money. All right? The church would uh, raise money to fix that roof. And so I got this young man here, and I, wanna, I want him to give you all uh, what it takes to get this house back in order. All right, we got brother, we got brother Dewan here. Brother Dewan. Hello, hello congregation. Uh, what we have going on here today is a roof repair. Got my guys up there on the roof, removing the broken tiles. We pressure washed yesterday and got the color back but we actually the blessing was finding the material that's basically outdated uh, we found it at a still of a price uh, which like uh, dr carter son said only for dr carter that that would happen we basically we super got blessed with just finding the right material and we have the right guys putting everything back in order after we after we finish replacing broken pieces then we will seal the entire roof and put a paint seal where it should. I thank Dr. Carter so much for giving me the opportunity to repair the 7,000 club. club. Headquarters. Headquarters. All right. Headquarters. It's <laughs> a great guy. Yeah, listen, take the picture of those guys up on that side. Uh, oh, yeah, we, we got them. You, you got them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. See? Yeah. Up and at them. I mean, they, <laughs> they're working on it. Yes. Yes, sir. See, see, my, that wall that he did, it had what on that wall, in uh, that wall? Well, we had some water intrusion up above the garage there, which is kind of hard to see from this angle. Uh, but we cut that out, uh, replaced the stucco and the rotten wood from the leak, and repainted it. Yeah. So now we at phase two. We're getting it together. All right. That's right. Well, Saints, I just wanted you all to see that we, you know, are doing uh, something for the headquarters. God bless you, Grandma Jewel. God bless you. Yes. And so I want you all to uh, give. Give as you purpose in your heart to give. Give, go to earlcarterministry.com and make a donation, small or great, will be appreciated. Yes. Uh, Brother Dewan, uh, God bless you. God bless y'all. God bless you. 7,000 Club, I'm telling you, you all are special. And I believe that you gonna help me. Brother Taurus, good morning, sir. Good morning. Uh, tell them how much uh, 
we need to finish this work. Now, I, I took care of the first right. phase. Basically, the first, the, this phase here is 7,600 and some change. Uh, I'm not sure about the exact number. Basically, 7,600 uh, for, this, for this phase of the project. And uh, like I said, we're working on it. So a few other things that I noticed that need to be repaired, and I'm, going, I'm doing that on my heart. Yeah. And doing that on my heart. My name is Dewan Thomas, owner of Absolute Construction and Renovations. Phone number 407-953-7004. Willing to help anybody. I put my heart in it. I basically take this house as my home until I'm done. Well, you know, things, uh, this man, I'm so impressed with him because he does expert work. God bless you, Brother Elliot. I mean, this man, I, I'm so impressed with him because what he does is first class. So I want you all to know, this is 7,000 Club headquarters. Headquarters. <laughs> <laughs> this is where I minister, uh, I minister from. This home and uh, a lot need to be done. Now, this, what you just saw is my neighbor's house. He, uh, he needs a lot of work. So I wanted to get this done, and I believe that we have enough people. We got 12,000, 12,000 subscribers, 12,000. Now, I believe that uh, if everybody would, would kick in, God bless you, Veronica, God bless you. If everybody would chip in, we could uh, take care of this situation. You know what? There's no uh, failure in God. Somebody, all right, Elliot, he gave the first offering. And we got, we, uh, let me see, Taurus gave $100, and some other people gave. And so I want to ask everybody to chip in. If everybody, show your strength, uh, 7,000 Club. You know, you all tell me, well, Bishop is my pastor. So the pastor is uh, making an appeal for an offering. <laughs> all right <laughs> and i believe it's going to happen i thank you all that we needed a bed for my wife you know she's uh recovering from cancer and you know when you're dealing with chemo and and radiation it takes a toll on you and so when this guy said that i had mold yes See, and you don't want to have mold, whether it's outside or inside. And God bless you. Oh, my cash app is uh, dollar sign Earl Carter Sr. Make sure you say senior, because you got a whole lot of Earl Carters out here. All right, so. <laughs> uh, it's, uh, dollar sign, cash app, Earl Carter, senior. And then we'll get it. And I thank you for it in advance. Uh, it's early in the morning, but I wanted to uh, let you all see exactly what's going on. That's right. Uh, got it, Bishop? Oh, you got it? All right. You understand what, I, what I'm trying to do. And there's no failure in God. You guys, you, you just blow my mind. 7,000 Club, you kept my lights on. Well, you, God, that's it. That's it. You, uh, you kept me in my house in spite of Charles Blake. When I tell you he's a wicked man, he is a wicked man. And I want to say that uh, somebody said, well, just let it go. Praise the Lord. 
Just let it go. Uh, Luke, I think is yeah, either, yeah, Luke 17. It says, uh, it's better to tie a millstone around your neck and be cast into the sea than for you to offend one of my least ones. Now, I think I'm one of the least ones, all right? God bless you, Veronica. God bless you. Uh, this man used his influence as the presiding bishop to shut down my ministry. And do you know, I was supposed to preach or lecture at Bishop College in Dallas, Texas. And do you know those Church of God in Christ folks under the leadership of Charles Blake and all of the bishops was told to tell all of the superintendents not to have Earl Carter. And uh, I never will forget, a man invited me to Atlanta. God bless you for, that's right. Uh, invited me to Atlanta to, to preach. And the man, he cooked for 600 people. He believed that the people were coming. And then they got news that the superintendents told the pastors in that district, do not go to hear Earl Carter. All right? And uh, <laughs> that little, uh, no, that tall, skinny uh, sissy. That's a wicked sissy. And then somebody said, why don't you just uh, forgive him? Here in that same chapter, it says that uh, if your brother offend you, you go to your brother and tell him what he's done. In this case, he's a sissy and he's a sister. <laughs> go to your brother and tell him what he did. And if he repents, oh, that's it. If he repents, the man got to repent. Then I owe him forgiveness. See, people doing, God bless you, Brother Richard Harrison. See, people have been doing this stuff in the church for a long time. Oh, let the Lord handle it. Let the Lord handle it. No, it is me and the Lord. I am prosecuting this bishop. Do you know he wanted my wife and I to be out in the street? You're supposed to give somebody that you think have done wrong, uh, you're supposed to give them due process. This uh, Chauvin, they gave him a trial. All right? They gave him a trial for murdering George Floyd. Do you know what? They gave Charles Manson a trial. They gave him due process. They gave, let's go back, they gave Al Capone a trial. <laughs> and you mean to tell me you all gonna be shouting and having a good time when your brother, you know, when your brother uh, was persecuted to the point that they wanted my wife and I to not have food on our table and to be outside, house gone. But I tell you what, if God is for you, he's more than the world against you. And God is for me and my wife. And I want 7,000 Club to go to Earl Carter Ministry. I'm telling you, this man, is, he's a wicked sissy. He's a rich, wicked sissy.
All right? That's right. Look at God. What they meant for evil. Mm. God worked it out for my good. Mm -mm -mm. I'm looking to uh, raise this money. You all, when I needed that bed, $10,000 bed, special bed. I think it's called Sleep One. Uh, my wife, she loves that bed. It's adjustable. And that bed has helped my back. I don't feel what I used to feel because the bed is adjustable and oh, I sleep good. Yes, I do. So if God is for you, you can get your $10,000 bed. If God is for you, I can raise this money. Oh, here's another testimony. One man that followed the 7,000 club paid my bills for nine months. Oh, glory to God. Nine months. When these church I'm not done. I am not done. I'm going to expose all this wickedness in the name of the Lord Jesus. Too much, I mean, just hurt people. Well, they fooled with the wrong one this time because I'm relentless. Yes, I am. And I thank God for this platform. I want everybody to know how dwelleth the love of God in you. If you see your brother in need, this man tried to kill me. And I'm not going to let him forget it. All right? I'm not going to let him forget it. Somebody say, won't you just let it go? Tell God to let the devil go. Uh-huh. Why don't you let it go? Tell God to cancel all of the punishment. Period. Let's let nobody be punished. Let's let everybody go. Let's go to the prison and tell everybody you're free to go. All right? You better know justice is to do that which is right. I mean, they call the people all over the country, threatening them, witchcraft. Threatening them if they were to have Earl Carter. We'll take your district. We will take your church. That ain't nothing but witchcraft. And the Bible said that we're supposed to love one another. That's not love when you want your... All I did was preach a message against... Well, I preached against everything. Not just homosexuals. I preached against adulterers. Yeah, adultery. I preached against fornication. I preached against lying. And because I said something that was imprecatory, that is to call judgment down on certain people, well, I'm going to do a message about imprecatory. Um, David was imprecatory. He said, I wish that my enemies would go to hell alive. That's rough. And then he said, I wish my enemies would go blind. Well, what David said is in uh, Psalms uh, 56 and then Psalm 69 and then Paul picked it up. Well, let's, Jesus picked it up. He was imprecatory. He said, I wish I could call fire from heaven, but it's not time yet. <laughs> oh, uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, they, trying to, they was trying to take, take away my means. And I'm going to tell you, that a man's worth is tied to his work. A man's worth 
is tied to his work. And after, after 50 years of ministry in this grand old church of God in Christ. Now, I don't have nothing against the, the members of the church, the laity. I'm talking about these wicked leaders like Charles Blake and Jerry Macklin. I'm talking about people like Daryl Hines. I'm talking about these wicked folk that's in charge, that's in leadership. My people are destroyed. It is dangerous to be under the wrong leadership. My people are destroyed. You're in trouble. You are on the precipice of being destroyed. That's what the Bible says. And then also the Bible says, why, why support the wicked? Now I'll be on tonight. I'll be on tonight. Say so you had the same thing to happen to you. I'm so crazy because I, yeah, they say you're crazy when you preach against sin. All right? So I want you to go to earlcarterministry.com. Go there and make a donation by the way of Zell. I know I don't have such a good picture here. By the way of Zell, by the way of PayPal, by the way of Cash App. All right? Cash App. You go there to my website, earlcarterministry.com, and make a donation that you have purpose in your heart. I thank God for you that have made a donation already. And I thank God for you. But if God, if God is for you, then who can be against you? <laughs> Hallelujah. And the righteous shall flourish as the palm trees and the cedars of Lebanon. Oh, my God. Even in a drought season, that's right. Even in a drought season, my leaves will not wither. In a drought season, oh my, oh my God, God has proven himself. Yeah, I'm, I'm not doing a good job with this picture, but I know you all can hear me. God will make a way. Somehow, the somehow of God. Don't try to figure him out. Just let him work it out. <laughs> oh, praise the name of the Lord. So I live in a old golf community and uh, nice and quiet. Yes. And the devil, he is, watch this, he is a thief. So anybody that wants somebody to lose something, that's the devil incarnated right there. Right there. I'm so glad that Charles Blake is not the leader of this church because that man was wicked and he knows he's a sissy. He knows he's a sissy. The reason why... He, uh, he didn't want to have a jury trial because he, he knows that I have too many witnesses, too many of them. And if you have been following me, you know I have not ceased. I, like the old folks say, I got wusser. <laughs> and I'm going to get, he may have retired, but not me. Prophets do not retire, and I'm not through. I'm not through. So, saints, uh, this year is going to be a lot of fireworks because the word of God, you know, God said, I will fight you with the words of my mouth. 
And that's the word of God. So I fight with the sword of the spirit. I don't talk about my uh, thoughts and what I think and my opinion. No, I'm giving you the word of God. I'm coming in the name of the Lord. And God said, by the way of Paul, Ephesians 5 and 11, have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them, expose them, condemn. See, that's in the Bible. You're not supposed to let people go. No, you're supposed to bring them into accountability. Like I said, even criminals, they get a trial. They didn't give me one. <laughs> oh, they didn't give me one, but that's all right. God is on my side. Righteousness exalts the nation, but sin is a reproach to any, any people. Sin. That's right. Transgression. Transgression. Going against God. Crossing the line. That's right. So I want you all to go to earlcarterministry.com and make a donation. Help me to uh, finish this project. Yeah, help me to finish this project. You know, houses and uh, houses are not cheap. Yeah, the Lord, that's right. That's, thank you, the Lord will give help to those who have a broken heart. You know, my heart is not broken. My heart is strengthened. That's it. And I thank God for the 7,000 Club. Oh, if I had not started the 7,000 Club, and we are incorporated. Yes. Yeah. Tax exemption. All right. Earl Carter Ministry dot com and you go to where it says donate donation and it'll give you the steps and and uh, the Zelle the PayPal and also Cash App. Go there and make a donation. And uh, when you finish giving, I'm going to let you know what was given. Yes. Thank you, Brother Jeff Thomas Thompson. Uh, you'll be able to see what was given and the work will be done. Now, they gave Charles Blake $62 million. That sissy got, all right, Brother David, God bless you. $100, God bless you. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. They gave him $62 million. All right, he's like, he's like uh, let's say, Nimrod. He built a tower and not a temple. He got all them rich movie stars like Samuel L. Jackson, cussing like a sailor. All right. And you got uh, people like George Wallace putting money in the crack of a woman, using profanity. All right. And who else you got? The Denzel. I think Denzel is pretty uh, decent, but he gave a lot of money to uh, build that church. The point I'm trying to make, $7,000 compared to 62 million? <laughs> uh, that's a Hollywood church. You can do anything you want to do in that church. Hollywood church. Magic Johnson supports that church. 
sexuality. Because Magic Son will be upset. I'm upset, Daddy. Father, I'm upset. They talking about us. And I'm into my authentic self. No, he's perverted. But Charles Blake can't say nothing about it because he's been bought. How much is the preacher in the window? $62 million. He sold his soul for $62 million. But what profit is that for a man to gain the whole world? That's right. How much is the preacher in the window for a man to gain even the whole world and lose his soul when he stands before Jesus? And he's going to say, I've done wonderful works in your name. And he's going to, God is going to say, Jesus is going to say, depart from me, ye worker of iniquity. I know you not. Lord, I built uh, West Angeles. You know how he talk. I, I built West Angeles. Yes, I did. I see West Angeles, West Angeles. West Angeles, West Angeles, Church of God in Christ. Uh, you know, my little church, we got 25,000 members. But uh, I'm so humble. Oh, yes, it's me. It's me. It's me, oh Lord. I built that church. I built that church in your name. In your name. I've done wonderful works in your name. And Jesus is going to say, depart from me. He's not going to get away. But when your mortality kicks in and you know your eyes are dim, your footsteps are short, your back is hurting, and you zombieized by all the drugs that you're taking, all right? You know you're leaving here, hands shaking, Legs might be shaking at night, and uh, and uh, your wife have to hold your leg down because it's shaking. May, may, hold my legs, may. Oh, hold my legs. Man, when mortality sits in, when you get short of breath, and then you begin to retrospect and think about the things you have done, and you unrepentive, man, I'm sorry, but you going to hell. I said, you going to hell, all right? But man, you bother one of my least ones. Did I call that scripture right? Is it Luke 17? Say, if you bother one of my least ones, it's better for you, Blake, to tie a millstone around your neck and be cast into the sea. You can't do God's people wrong. And all I had to do was to make a statement, and I was willing to do that. I was willing to say, well, you know, I use words like vituperative, that is harsh, and then... Uh, verbostic, which means unnecessary words. And I was repentive. I told him, I said, Bishop, whatever I have to do, I'm willing to do it. And he said, oh, praise, praise God. Oh, that's so wonderful. That's so wonderful, Elder Carter. Oh, I think we can get through this. I said, yeah, Bishop, I love you and I love the church. And uh, whatever we have to do, to placate the emotions of the people, I'm willing to do it. That man said, well, I thank you for your attitude. I thank you for your, your uh, humility. I thank you. God bless you, Ulysses. I thank you. I thank you. And uh, I don't want you to talk to the media. I don't want you to talk to anybody. And then we, I'm going to get back with you tomorrow. If not you, I mean, if not me, 
my PR people will get in touch with you so that the statement that you write, we will be on the same uh, in our minds that we're going to say the same things. So instead of you making an independent statement, wait till you hear from us. And I said, Bishop, I'm willing to do it. Man, I felt so good. I said, oh, I have a bishop that's going to look out for me. Yeah, and you know, 67% uh, of the congregation agreed with me. They didn't see nothing wrong with that imprecatory statement. Somebody need to call judgment like Elijah. That's what I was doing, causing God to bring judgment. I wanted God to bring judgment like he did in Sodom and Gomorrah. Church of God in Christ, uh, like roaches. The sissies, sissies, they infiltrated that ch church. And I got tired, and I know God got tired. Sissies everywhere. Sissies in the choir. Sissies in the pulpit. Sissies at the, at the door. Ushers switching, and they sissies. I mean sissies outside. Sissies inside. Sissies around the building. Sissies everywhere. Sissies in the restaurant. Sissies walking down the street with a little Bible holding it like pocketbooks and nobody say nothing. Nobody would say anything to uh, William McCray dressing like an old woman, holding his Bible like he's holding a pocketbook, he looking like sin, dipped in confusion, and nobody would say anything Oh, but I'm not through. I'm not through. And you know, the Lord is taking care of me. Uh, so I live by faith. I'm free from all men that I might be a servant unto all men. Yeah, I talked about jive and preparation H. And I wanted to give Blake a Christmas present of preparation H. I'm talking about uh, a whole box of preparation H. Oh yeah, him and his girlfriend. That is, uh, what is that? Keith, Keith Jones, Sister Jones. And somebody had the nerve to have this guy to do the prayer during the election. That is stupid, dumb, and crazy. Here's a man that got on worldwide uh, media and demonstrated how you have oral sex, and that is sodomy. Sodomy. That is oral sex as well as anal sex. And then under the leadership of Charles Blake, y'all can keep giving, under the leadership of Charles Blake, they wrote a young man's uh, manual. And in the manual, it says that if you going to have sex, first of all, talk to your partner. Talk to your partner and see if your partner is ready to have sex. And if you're going to have sex, vaginal sex, uh, oral sex, and watch this, anal sex, use a condom. Use a condom. Sanctified church trying to tell you it's all right to have anal sex. They're trying to make provision for of uh, butt connection, all right? Butt snatching like Charles Blake. Butt snatcher. Oh, yes, his grandchildren. Unless he ran, his, well, I already talked to his grandchildren. Yeah, yeah, already. 
And uh, I want uh, everybody to know that God will expose, that's right, William McCray, that, walking around there like a little woman. And Charles Blake taking pictures with the man, with the sissy. All right? They tried to jump on me, but they had to jump off. I'm like a porcupine. You might jump on, but you're definitely going to jump off. All right? And I'm a warrior. And I feel like fighting as never before. Yeah, today's culture. That's right, the culture of the church. The layer of the sin. That's right. And sticking your penis in the butt of a man where the school baller comes out. That means your penis is dirty. Dirty penis Charles Blake. All right? Dirty. And when David said to Goliath, you uncircumcised Philistine, you know what he was telling that big black man? That you are a person with a dirty penis. So Charles Blake and Goliath, they have something in common. And that something in common is to stick your penis. Stick your penis in the butt of a man. Man. And uh, people like Derek Hutchins, I wonder if a, there is a butt connection. <laughs> I wonder, is there a butt connection? I'm not through with him either. You see, I can talk about them until, they, listen, I have what you call job security. I'm not through with uh, Daryl Hines. I'm not through with uh, uh, Macklin. I'm not through with these people, and I'm not through with uh, Pillsbury Doughboy, Bishop, I'm talking about Bishop Jelly Donut. Jelly Donut in one hand and a glaze in the other hand, all right? And he has the nerve to not sing background. Don't know how to work with leadership he wanted to be uh, the presiding bishop. And that's what you call strong delusion. Delusional. <laughs> and I'm so glad that uh, uh, I call him Pillsbury Doughboy. I'm glad he didn't get it because he will lead us to the cafeteria. And we all will be fat. He will lead us to restaurants. That's where he would lead. <laughs> we'll never have a day of fasting. <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. So, saints, I want you to go to earlcarterministry.com and make a donation. And the Lord will bless you. You can't even give a glass of water in the name of a prophet, all right, and not receive a prophet's reward. Yes. How you doing? You speak English? No. You don't speak English? But you're over here. And you're glad to be here, right? Man, I'm happy for you. I am happy for you. All right, I'm signing off, but I just, I know the pictures don't look that good and whatever, but you, you heard me. You heard me. So uh, you all, God bless you. Yeah. Is that Elliot? God bless you. All of you, make a donation and help us to do the work of the Lord. This is headquarters. Make a paradigm shift and say, uh, this is the headquarters of 7,000 Club, all right? Incorporated. God bless you, and I'll see you tonight. I got a hot one for tonight. Oh, I got a hot one for you tonight. We're going to expose some more people. Well, 
We're going to expose the spirit that's in these people. All right, that Larry Reed. Oh, he's a mess. That's right. Well, thank you. Hallelujah. I don't know what happened to Jonathan. I don't know. I really don't. Yes, I don't know what happened. Anyway, I don't want to speculate. He, he told me he was sorry for what happened. So I, I let that go. See, he repented. I don't hold stuff. Matter of fact, uh, I'm the nicest person I know. <laughs> my family called me world peace. And my mother-in-law called me troublemaker all over the world. And she's a troublemaker. Back at you. All right? Back at you. Yeah, tonight at 7. We come on at 7 tonight. See, I'm, I'm using the word of God to expose these people. That's right. And he's been exposed. He molested at least. He's another, he's another Eddie Long. Grooming these young men and had sex with them and masturbating in front of them. That man is sick. He's demon possessed. All right, tonight I'll be talking more about about it tonight at 7 7 p.m tonight earl carter 7 exposing as many as i can if you're listening to me and you find a pastor that's a sissy in the pulpit find a pastor that is a whoremonger find a pastor that's trying to steal all the money a greedy dog let me know, and I'm going to put him out there. As sure as my name is Earl Carter, I'm going to put him out there. And it's not going to be nice. All right? God bless you. I see you tonight. And pray for my wife. Please keep my wife in prayer. She needs you to pray. All right? God bless you. And God keep you and all you wicked folk like Charles, Charletta, Edwina, Blake. May you have a bad day. All wicked folk have a bad day. I'm going to try to get that T-shirt. Yeah, I got to get that one. All you wicked folk have a bad day. All right. God bless you. And I'll see you tonight. Bye-bye.